And we're back with you, Lady Cardinal fans, for game two against the Moralton Lady Devil Dogs. Starting off. And the batter's in there. Stephanie Bridgman. Bridgman in there. Swings at a high fastball. 0-1 quickly for Paige Diversary. Diversary getting the start again here in game two. Tries to change up. <clears throat> Ends up high and away. That'll even the count at one. And the 1-1 one, one popped to Bennett. Nice catch out there. A circus catch. Almost could have been caught by Jernigan, but uh, Bennett out there making another play. Making the most of her opportunity in, at shortstop. And one quick out for the Lady Cardinals. Ship's going to be the batter. That's low and away for, to ship. 1-0. Swings at a high rise ball. A slow rise ball, but had a little break on it. That'll even the count at one. If Diversary could get that pitch working and, and with control, then she'd be in business. Fastball, that's chopped quickly on the first. Fast runner, nice play by Diversary. The normally short stop by trade Diversary with another good play from the circle. Had to, had to get to her left on a chopping ball that was bearing down now and Maddie, quick three, throw. So two quick outs for Diversary and the Lady Cardinals here in the top of the first. That's a nice pitch. Low foul back by number three. Mary Kate Kordsmeyer. Kordsmeyer. And the 0-1 to Kordsmeyer. Nice changeup. Fouled sharply to the Lady Cardinal dugout. Count stays 0-2. And the 0-2. Boy, a, a try for a pitch outside, and she got the call. Mr. Umpire this time is a different home flight umpire, but he likes that out river outside and inside. No runs, so. no hits, no errors. Let's go to the bottom of the first. No hits, no runs, no errors. Three quick outs for the Lady Cardinals going to the bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing. Cardinals.
back with you, Lady Cardinal fans, to the Cardinal half of the first. Brandy Wallace, third baseman, is going to lead it off for the Lady Cardinals. And Wallace steps in. Hit hard back to the pitcher. On to first for the out. A hard hit ball, but right to the right to the glove of the pitcher. Now batting number four, Cameron Jernigan. Jernigan's going to be the batter for the Lady Cardinals. A strike on the outside has started to Jernigan. 0 oh 1 to Jernigan. Change up in the dirt. It's 1 and 1. They must have switched it because they had to go playing first. They had her with the So was this the last game? That's this game. Again, low and away. Fouled, fouled off by Jernigan. Jernigan awaits the one, two. Nice job up the middle. Nice job of hitting by Cameron Jernigan, the sophomore left fielder. Continues her good night. That'll bring up Callie Harper. Cardinals with a chance to do some damage in this first inning. One out. Jernigan on first for Callie Harper. That's low for a ball to Harper. A little bit too outside for the umpire on that one. It's 2-0. and oh. Nice job of hitting there. That's going to be caught. The throw back to first. Cameron back safely. Nice little hit to the opposite field, but a good play over there by the right fielder for the Lady De Devil Dogs. Now Two outs with a chance for Reed. Out. In the dirt low, stolen base for Cameron Jernigan. So RBI chance for Reed here with two outs in the bottom of the first. Top foul to third. <coughs> One and one to count. And Jernigan on second. And the one one to read. Low and away for two and one. Blowing away again, three and one to Reed. Lady Cardinals trying to scratch out a run here in the first inning. And the three one in there, low for a strike. That'll run the count full to the catcher, Alyssa Reed, with two outs. Runners are going to be going. Nice job of protecting the plate. Same kind of pitch. May have been the same kind of call, so she fouls it down the third baseline very wisely. 
That'll keep the count full to Alyssa Reed with two outs. Jernigan on second. Just itching to get in here and score. In the dirt for a ball, that's going to put Reed on first. McDaniel's going to run for Reed at first, so. Courtesy runner will be number 26, Jakia McDaniel. Two outs for the Lady Cardinals here in the bottom of the first with an RBI chance for Carly now Antwine. Number 23, Carly Antwine. Lady Cardinals on first and second, so a good chance for Antwine to. A lot of space over in that right center gap. That may score two with, with uh, McDaniel on first. That ball skips away from Farrell, and the runners will advance to second and third. So a real good RBI chance for Carly Antoine here in the, in the bottom of the first. A little inside-out swing to that right center gap will get it done right here. Low pitch, a little late on the swing. Didn't Wasn't sure she wanted it. That's going to run it to 1-2, and 0-2. Two, oh That's a nice play. That's going to be over the head, off the wall. A fat pitch, just a gratuitous pitch taken advantage of by Carly Antoine and nearly out of here. A hard hit ball. Nice job by the sophomore second baseman, and that's going to play two with two outs here in the bottom of the first. And the pitcher, who's normally their shortstop, Aiming a little bit, and it's good hitting speed. A nice, a nice chance for Parrish chopped the short on the first for the third out, but not before the Lady Cardinals score two on one hit. Two runs, two hits. Two hits, no two errors. runs, no errors. It's two nothing. But going to the second. Going to the second. And we're back with you, Lady Cardinal fans. It's the top of the second. It's 2 nothing, Lady Cardinals. Anniversary comes set and delivers. Way outside, but call the strike. So he's, Mr. Umpire's got the, got the river going here. He's very generous at those corners. Very generous. 0-1. A little bit low in the dirt for a ball 1-1 one one to number 26. Who do we got here? Erica Howard. Erica Howard, the pitcher in the last game. Nice pitch on the outside. He gives it to her again, a delayed call. But it, one and two. Right there again. Swung. I mean, a little bit farther inside. She just missed it, but would have been a called strike nonetheless. And a quick out for diversity here now in Maggie, the top of the second. Seven, Maggie Crafton. With, a not, with another strikeout for the sophomore pitcher. 
Nice job. That's chopped foul towards the dugout. Wallace brings it back into the nursery. Nice job. Nice pitch on the outside. Looks like a changeup. It kind of floated in there like a changeup, but a, another pitch that probably would have been a called strike, but she offers at it and fouls it back behind the screen. It's quickly 0 2 for diversity. Tries high, tries to get her to chase something. One and two. One out here in the in the top of the second. The 2 0 Lady Cardinals. And here's the one two from diversity. Stays upstairs, tries to get her to chase. That'll even the count at two. And here comes the 2 2. Right there, that's. Oh, man, that was a nice play over to third. Nice bullet Just, throw. Yeah, nice throw. It was a little like a swinging bun almost to third. One handed by Wallace and on to first. Very close play over there. But good, good, uh, good hustle by the Moralton batter there. Nice hustle to beat the throw. And the pitch from Diversary. Right there on the outside for a strike. 0-1. Oh number 19. Mallory Symer. Symer, the batter. A bunt attempt by Symer. Bunted foul. It's quickly 0-2 for Paige Diversary. Blows it right by her with a strike. Swung a, a bit late for out number two. So another strikeout for Paige Diversary. And she's racking them up today. Two out and, now, batting, and a runner on for the Lady Devil Dogs. Kemp's the batter. Number 20. Looked to be right down the middle. Must have been low, 1-0. and oh. In there high for a ball, it's 2-0. and oh. Throw it in the other batter's box and you're gonna call a strike here probably. A nice hit by S and she's going to be out of second. She got a little aggressive, probably missed a sign, didn't look at her coach, and ran him out of the inning. But a nice job. I, she had a nice hard hit the last game that was, we made a good play on for the out. And she hits in the gap this time, but a base running error runs the Devil Dogs out of a good inning. So no on to the no second. Left it's 2 0 Lady Cardinals.
getting back with you, Lady Cardinal fans. We've gone to the bottom of the second. It's 2-0, Lady Cardinals. After a nice play and, and throw from Takia McDaniel, or from Bethany McKnight. McKnight is the batter. Bunts foul. And 0 1 to McDaniel. Tries to bunt again. Bunts it out front. She may be. Uh, she's out. So close play at first, but an out nonetheless for the first out. Paige Diversary is going to be the batter with a chance to get things started for the Lady Cardinals here in the bottom of the second. Nice pitch, but let the ball get a little bit too deep. And, and got it in on her hand, so popped up to the pitcher. Two outs quickly for the Devil Dogs. Now batting number two, Anna Bennett. Anna Bennett with a chance to get things started with two outs here in the bottom of the second for the Lady Cardinals. In the dirt low for a ball. Change up in there low for a ball, low and inside for a ball. 2-0 to Bennett. Two old called strike on Bennett. Two and one. A bit away, two and two, a three and one to Bennett. And the three one. High and away. That'll put Bennett on with a walk. With Brandy Wallace at the top of the order coming back up. Back to the top of the batting order, number 15, Brandy Wallace. Hopefully we can get something going here with two outs. We need to keep on tacking on runs. And Wallace with a chance to advance the runner here. There's a nice hit. It almost takes the pitcher's head off. And a nice job of hitting, just staying on the ball. Not trying to do too much with it. So runners on hey, first and second. Number four, Cameron Jernigan. For Cameron Jernigan. Jernigan, who looks to continue her good night. In the dirt, runners move about a third of the way and get back. Want to know, hits her. In the dirt, hits her, so that's going to load the bases of fully – Load the bases of Lady Cardinals with a good RBI chance with two outs for Callie Harper. In there for a strike to Harper. Harper just needs to find the one she wants and just square up on it. Stay balanced. Stay patient and just hit it right up the middle, and we can score two out of this. There's a nice job. Put in play, but to short. That's going to end the Cardinal threat. Cardinals threaten. One hit. No runs, one no hit. Runs, one hit, no errors. Three runs, no errors. Three, base. Three left on base. Going to the top of the third, Cardinals two, Lady Devil Dogs nothing.
And we're back with you, Lady Cardinal fans, at the top of the third. It's 2 nothing, Lady Cardinals. The catcher, Farrell, is going to lead it off for the Lady Devil Dogs. A little bit low and away for 1-0. That's hammered foul. To about the same place she, her last hit went. That was a rise ball kind of left high and away. She goes around the pitch and hammers it foul. So it's going to even the count at one. Low it away, but close enough for a strike, so it's one and two. So Diversary trying to stay ahead in the count. Nice job. Nice changeup. Bobbled, but on to first for the out. And a nice pitch by Diversary to get a dangerous hitter up there. So again, Diversary gets the leadoff batter and sits her down. Runs up the bunt and I don't know if it was a call. I guess it was a swing and strike. Yeah, she didn't pull back enough, so it's 0-1. So Diversary again ahead quickly. Nice job. Popped up to the catcher. Nice pitch on a rise ball. She goes up the bunt, puts it in play, and right to read. So good work between the pitcher and the catcher there. Now batting number 18, Stephanie Bridgman. 18, Bridgman, the pitcher, is up to bat now. And diversity with two quick outs. Little change up try on the outside. It's one and oh. Rise ball high and away. It's two and oh. Low and inside for a called strike. Two and one to the Bridgman. A nice frame job by Reed on the outside. Evens the count at two. And the two two to Bridgman. Hammered into the gap between left and center. She's going to bounce to the wall. She's going to try for two. Back from the infield, but she's up there with a double. Now that is number nine, Libby Ship. Libby Ship, the batter, the, the slapper with two outs. Two outs here in the top of the third. Low and away frame nicely. For 0 and 1. And Diversary trying to hit that spot every chance she can. Diversary stays out there, doesn't get the call this time. But the she's got the slapper thinking about it, just like last game. She's got her thinking about swinging at that pitch. 1 and 1 the count. Stays out there again. It's two and one. Paige just needs to paint this a little bit more. I mean, bring it in two inches a little more to that plate, and she'll have it. There it is right there. That's tapped to Antoine. Quickly on the first, a speedy runner. Nice quick hands by Antoine. Ends the inning and ends the devil dog threat. 
One hit. No runs. One left on. It's two nothing. Lady Far Lady Cardinals going to the bottom of the third. And back with you, Lady Cardinal fans, on to the bottom of the third. Alyssa Reed, the catcher, is going to lead things off for the Lady Cardinals. Way outside for a ball. He thought about making the call. Coach Austin's had the word with the umpire. I don't know what it's about, if they're making some kind of change. or. He just noticed that first base. Oh, so a roster mix-up on uh, Moralton's part. And back to the action. It's 1-0 to Alyssa Reed. A nice chopping is fair off the third baseman's glove. So a good start for the Lady Cardinals here in the bottom of the third. We'll get a runner for Reed. Looks like it's going to be Takiya McDaniel, the center, or the uh, senior. Courtesy runner is going to be number 26, Takiya McDaniel.
That's going to bring up Antoine, who hit one off the... Now batting number 23, Carly Antoine. The F in Farmington. Out in the left center. Wanted a swing, but wisely didn't. Still called a strike, but... I'm going to make this girl get most of the plate like the last time she was at bat. Runner on first for the Lady Cardinals, Antoine. Takes a ball high. That's one and one. She's waiting for something right in the in her wheelhouse until the until the you know she's gonna just work the count. That's in the dirt. Almost hits her. Two and one to Carly Antoine, who would love to stay hot right now. The Speedy McDaniel's on first. There's a nice pitch just roped. Almost gets over. Just lined in the short. I mean, lined in the center. Almost pops over the center fielder's head. Just hit on a button. And Carly continues her good night with a base hit. So Lady Cardinals on first and second with a chance for Madison Parrish. The freshman center fielder. Dribbled, let the ball get a little bit too deep, dribbled to second, moves the runner to third. A force play at second, but no chance on the double play. So there's one out with ladies, Lady Cardinals on the corner. Now batting number 21, Bethany McKnight. McKnight's going to be the batter with an RBI chance. We're going to get a, a steal attempt at second, a throw down, and then back to home for the out. So a little bit of gambling on the Farmington Cardinals. By the Farmington Cardinals, that we come up short. That's two outs. There's a called strike on the outside. It's going to run the count to one and one. Parrish still at second. Needing a base hit here to even have a chance. Out at first. A little dribbler to the second. Out at first. Nothing doing for the Cardinals. One hard hit. But the Cardinals, no runs. The Cardinals come up short. Right. And the so bottom of the third. Two nothing. Two nothing. Lady Cardinals. And top of the fourth, Korsmeyer is going to lead it off for the Lady Devil Dogs. Swinging strike. 0-1 oh oh the count to Korsmeyer. Foul to the Cardinal dugout. Wallace gives chase, but nothing doing. It's 0-2, oh though. 
a nice change up on the inside by Diversary. A try on the outside, a little bit too outside, it's two and two. One and two, change up, nice pitch. Just swung right through it. A beautiful pitch by Diversary. And another quick out, another quick first out for the pitcher, Diversary. Outside for a ball. One and the count. Nice strike in there. One and one. Nice pitch, chop foul to third. One and two quickly on the batter. Another nice pitch, change up, little off speed pitch, foul back. The count is one and two on the batter, Howard. Low and away for a ball, it's going to even it at two. Low and away again, that's going to fill up the count to the batter, Howard. Right back to the pitcher, to the left, she wheels around, it goes off her glove and into right field, left field rather. Fortuitous bounce for the Lady De Devil Dogs, but an, a good hit nonetheless. Seven, Puts a runner on for the visiting team with one out and number seven up to bat. Williams, the batter. On one to the batter, number seven, Crafton. Two, Cheyenne Williams. Nice change up. That pitch is working so far. And quickly up 0-2 to Craftman. Foul, chop, chop foul to. Kelly Harbor quickly back into diversity. Runner back to first. Owen two to Crafton. Right in the baseline. Nice play over by Harper. Tries to make a, she tags first. Tries to make a four, uh, tag play at second. But two outs for the Lady Devil Dogs with a runner on second. With a chance for number 19. Batting number 19, Mallory Simmer. Simer's the batter. And in there for a strike to Simer. Nobody's looked at it. 0-1 to 
one to Seimer. Nice pitch in there. What, delayed call, 0-2. So Diversary staying ahead in the count all night. Nice job on the outside. He rings her up. You got to swing at that one. Tonight, you got to swing at that one if it's 0-2. No runs, one hit. No, runs, one hit. One no errors. One, re so one left on. on. Cardinals 2, Lady Devil, Dogs. Devil Dogs and nothing. Quick on the first for the first out. That'll bring up Anna Bennett. Here in the bottom of the fourth, it's 2 nothing Lady Cardinals. Now batting, number two, Anna Bennett. Bennett with a chance to get things started for the Lady Cardinals. Takes a strike right down Broadway, 0-1. Same pitch, a big cut, foul back our way. 0-2 to Anna Bennett. Again, a home run cut, foul back. She's got the right idea. It looks like she's trying to, she's been working. She's a dead pull hitter, but she's trying. she's been working, I know, pretty hard, trying to go to the opposite field. So she's got to get her timing down. That ball's going to hit her, so a gift for the Cardinals. Up 0-2, and you bounce and hit a batter, so. A one-out chance for the leadoff hitter, Brandy Wallace. And the Cardinals need to scratch out a few runs here. Number 15, Brandy Wallace. Called strike on the outside. Oh, and one to the batter. Anna Bennett on the first. One out for the Lady Cardinals here in the bottom of the fourth. High and away. One, one and one to Brandy Wallace. And the 1-1. High 
Hine away again. Staying away, two and one. Hine away, staying away, staying away. Three and one. And the 3-1. In there for a strike. Three and two to Wallace. And the pitch. In, inside in there again, but she fouls it away. Good cut to stay alive. And the three two. Pop to center field. Runners can't advance. That's two down for the Lady Cardinals. That's going to be a stolen base for Anna Bennett on the ball in the dirt. It's two and one to Cameron Jernigan. Hit high in the air to right. That's going to be the third out. It's two nothing, Lady Cardinals on. One hit, no, no runs. runs. Lady Cardinals up 2 nothing. Kemp's going to be the batter to lead, lead things off for the Lady Devil Dogs.
anniversary hits Kemp to lead off the inning, so that puts a speedy Kemp on base. And back to the action after the break. Now batting number four, Gracie Farrell. Farrell, the catcher, is going to be batting. Chopper to third, on to second to get the leading, the speedy Kemp. Nice play over there at third and nice uh, play over there at second. One out for Diversary. Need another ground ball out here. Now batting number eight, Maddie Adams. Bunted foul. <laughs> Another bunt attempt. Bunted foul. So it's quickly owing two to Adams. And the 
too. Flying away. Tries to get her to chase. One and two. And here comes the one two. Swing strike. Decided a little bit late. So another strikeout for Paige Diversary in the second part of this double header. Now batting number 18, Stephanie Bridgman. A big out. A two outs and a chance for the pitcher Bridgman with a runner on first. That's hit, that's hit right, to McDan right to McKnight and right. And one pitch, one out for the third out for the Lady Cardinals here in the top of the fifth. So that's no runs. No runs, no hits. One no run, le one left on. Left on base. Two And back with you, Lady Cardinal fans. It's the bottom of the fifth. Two nothing, Lady Cardinals over the Lady Devil, Devil Dogs of Moralton. Callie Harper, the first baseman, is going to lead things off. And Bridgman comes set and gets a sign. And here's the pitch, high and away for a ball. One and zero to Callie Harper. Lady Cardinals need base runners. There's a hit. That's going to drop. It's kicked it. Yeah, it's a nice play. That, that girl's been playing hard all night and made an attempt. And in and out of her glove. That's a hit. Yeah, she was running full speed, just couldn't make it. So good start for the Lady Cardinals and a and, uh, and nice little slice off hit by Kelly Harper to get her night going. And read the batter. That's hit. Oh, it's booted by the shortstop. She should have ran on through it. She instead stopped and kind of lowered her, gra her center of gravity and just kind of misplayed it. She's had a good night all night, but Reed hit a smoker up the middle. And, uh, and moves the runners up. So Morano's going to be the runner for Reed, but hard hit ball. And Antoine wants to pick out one of those pitches uh, in the middle. Bridgman stayed out on the corners the last inning, but there's a nice hit that may drop. No, nice play. That center fielder is just all over the place for a nice play that any any anybody else would have dropped. One out for the Lady Cardinals with two on and a chance for Parrish. Batting, number 16. Madison, 
in there for a strike to Parrish. It's high and away to Parrish, one and one. Yeah, Lady Cardinals need to scratch out a, an insurance run here, or two or three. One and one to Parrish. That's booted. And bases are loaded. Kind of, kind of inside out swing and had a little bit of spin on it. And Morrillton, just like any team, just has to bear down and concentrate on these late, late innings of a doubleheader. Fatigue sets in, and they, uh, concentration can fall off. And uh, two plays that probably should have been made in the middle infield, but it's got the Cardinals uh, wide open for some RBI chances. Comes and a meeting on the mound for the Lady Devil Dogs. Bethany McKnight is going to be the batter, so she wants to. Number 21, Bethany McKnight. A, a high chopper over the infield head or, a, or a, a blooper or something in between would work. That's what the Lady Cardinals need. There's a, you know, there's a force out at any base, so we need something in the gap, something to get past the infield. And that'll work right there. Oh, it. No run will score. It's going to be interference on our our runner, and there's an there's going to be an out. So it's two outs for diversity with Page, bases loaded. Nine, Page, diversity. And the pitch. It's low in the dirt for a for a ball. In the dirt again. Two and oh. Page just needs to put a good swing on a good pitch here. Don't swing at anything that's way out of the strike zone. She's up to an O, so if she can square up on one, we'll be in business. That's high and away, three and O. She may see a good pitch here, but she probably will have the take sign. And Lady Cardinals threatening to scratch out a few runs here. That's inside for a strike. Three and one to count to Page Diversary. There's a pitch that's going to get down. Nice job. Bobbled by the two runs are going to score. Harper scores. Parrish scores. And a nice job of hitting by the pitcher, Page Diversary. That's going to make it 4 nothing, Lady Cardinals and a badly needed hit with bases loaded. I think we've left the bases loaded no, twice Bennett, tonight, so Anna that's Bennett. what we needed. Bennett, number two, the transfer from Warren. High and away to Bennett. That gives the Lady Cardinals a little bit of breathing room, but Bennett to do some extra damage here. That's a nice job by Bennett. She's on. She hits it hard and tried to. It was a down. It was a a sinking line drive to a shortstop, and she drops it. And the bases are loaded for Brandy Wallace, the leadoff hitter. The 
opposing coach goes out to talk to the umpire, I don't know what about. Maybe uh, maybe he thought Bennett was out of the baseline or something like that. The throw wasn't even in, in time to get her anyway. He's trying to get himself a, an easy out here. Safe. The umpire calls safe, so. And Wallace steps in there with bases loaded, two outs for a chance to add a few more runs to the Cardinal lead. That's popped up off their fist to the center fielder for the last out. Two runs, four hits, one error, three runners left on base. Going to the top of the sixth inning with the score, Farmington four, Moralton zero. Back with you, Lady Cardinal fans. 4 nothing, Lady Cardinals. On to the top of the sixth. And anniversary comes set. There's a pop fly to right. Left, rather. Jordan, uh, Jernigan there takes her eye off of it a bit. And that's going to be an error on the left fielder. That puts a runner on second. High and away to Korsmeyer. One and another count. Nice change up. Foul back our way. One and one the count. Hind away to the Korsmeyer again, two and one. In the dirt low, three and one.
right down the middle for a strike. Three and two. It's going to fill the count up. That's up the middle. Nice play by Antoine. The runner at second advances to third, but a nice play to her right. And a strong throw over to first on a speedy runner. That's going to bring up Howard to batter with one out. Batting number 26, Erica Howard. In there for a strike. Strike one to Howard. Nice pitch, foul back, 0-2, so diversity quickly ahead again. And the 0-2. Nice, nice pitch out there, swing and strike for the second out. So diversity getting herself out of a little trouble here. Number seven coming to bat. Now batting number seven, Maggie Crafton. Nice pitch living on that outside. Crafton the batter. That's hit right up the middle. That pitch stayed a little bit over the plate. And it's four to one, Lady Cardinals. Tying away to number 19. Mellers. Simer, the batter. 1 0 to Simer with two outs. Nice pitch there, low and outside. Nice, put some heat on that pitch. 1 1 to Simer with two outs here in the top of the sixth. Lady Cardinals hanging on to a 4 1 lead. Nice changeup. Got her a little out front. You might want to be careful about speeding her bat up, but one and two nonetheless. And the one two. On the outside, nice, nice change up, swinging strike. And she's really, she's really hammered down that pitch tonight. So that'll end the inning. One run, one or in the threat. It's four to one, Lady Cardinals. And here to start the bottom of the sixth. Cameron Jordan is the play. She takes low for a ball. It's four to one, Lady Cardinals, here in the bottom of the sixth. With a chance for Jordan to get things started for the Lady Cardinals once again. Now 
a bit away, but good enough for the umpire, which has been the case pretty much all this whole game. But he's given us those calls too, so it's one and one. It's low in the dirt to Cameron Jernigan. It's two and one. And here's the two one to Jernigan. Chopped to third, on to first for the first out. That's going to bring up Callie Harper, the junior first baseman. Now batting number 22, Callie Harper. Nice job, nice hit, but right to third, so on to first for the second out. So two quick outs for Bridgman. Hit hard, but just a perfect bounce for the third baseman. Now batting number 11, Melissa Reed. Low and inside for a ball to Reed. High and away to read, 2 and 0. Oh. Really? Yeah. An unusual high strike on the last one, so it's 1 and 1. Nice job of hitting on that play. She got a pitch out over the plate and scorched it past third, so a little chance for uh, the Lady Cardinals to add add to their lead here in the bottom of the sixth with Carly Antwine coming to the plate. Morano's gonna, or excuse me, McDaniel is gonna run for Reed at first. Jakea McDaniel is courtesy runner, number 26. Batty, so, number 23, Carly Antwine. Antwine's hit the ball about every time, hard, every time she's uh, been up today. So let's see if we can add a run here. Nice pitch, just missed it. Put a big swing on it. That's in the gap, and that's got a chance. That's going to hit the wall. And she's in there with a double. McDaniel the third, yeah, she's thumping the ball tonight. And not nice night and nice now day for Carly Antoine. Madison Parrish. Parrish with a chance, with an RBI chance, with two outs. Oh, that may get down for a hit. It's going to, and we got to run. And Antoine's going to get in there too, so. Lady Cardinals add two. It's six to one, Lady Cardinals. Nice job here with two outs. With the inning uh, really getting started with Reed on her hard hit ball. So she's kind of showing the way now in this right, last inning. Bethany McKnight. Or the sixth inning. McKnight with a chance to extend the inning here. That's going to be a called strike on the outside. No, it's low and away. A rare low and away strike the ball for this umpire tonight. Six to one Lady Cardinals, and they're in command right now. That, that pitch is right down the middle for a delayed strike. And it's one and one to the senior right fielder. Two outs and a chance to do some more damage here. That's going to be a tough play. The second baseman boots it. And probably in, in anticipation of the speedy runner, McKnight. And she just kind of got ahead of herself and didn't catch it before she threw it. So runners at first and second for Paige Diversary. Batting for the Cardinals, number nine, Paige Diversary.
Inside almost hits her. And the one and oh. Low and away. Looked like it was in the other dugout, but he calls it a strike. One and one. One and one to Paige. Nice job. That's going to be right in her tracks in center field for the third out. But not before the Cardinals add two on a few hits. The two left on. It's six to one after six. Two Lady Cardinals. And back with you, Lady Cardinals. Six to one, Lady Cardinals, here in the top of the seventh. DeVertry gets ahead with a strike, as she has all night. Nice pitch inside. Oh, he didn't give her the call. What is wrong with you? You've been doing it all night. Thought you wanted to go home. Inside again, swinging strike. One and two. DeVertry is been uh, pretty good tonight in both games. And the one, two, right down the middle. That's going to be gobbled up by Antoine and on to first for the first heart out of the seventh inning. And Cardinals in now command. Man, number four, Gracie Farrell. And the pitch to the catcher. That's up for a ball. Chop the third. Low throw to first. Kind of st stretched by uh, Harper and nice play on both ends there. Two outs, two quick outs for the Lady Cardinals. And the Lady Cardinals are out away from a, a sweep of the Moralton Devil Dogs and, and, a, and a much needed sweep. It'll make them six and two in the conference. So every conference game is uh, critical in this high rise ball. The hitter offered and she didn't go. So it's one and oh to number eight. That called strike will even the count at one. That's in there for a strike. And Diversary stayed staying ahead all night in both games. I mean, just 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 pinpoint control. And she's up one and two with two outs. Looking to close things out. 
And that's going to be gobbled up by Antoine. A good night over there. On to first, and that'll do it for the Lady Cardinal. That's going to be a winner in both games. Six to one is the final. And a good night, and that'll make them 6-2 in the conference. So then hey, our, that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Join us uh, Thursday five night, 5 o'clock, in Farmington against Gravit. Thanks. Right.